Hi, my name is Mathieu Giric and I'm going to demonstrate how to protect APM logon page with password encryption. So to do so, I provision on my big IP two modules. The first one, of course, is APM. And the second one is WebSafe. So APM is here and WebSafe is here. So the goal is to avoid any malware on my laptop to grab my credential when I when I fill the fields with my login and my password. So let's demonstrate how to grab the the password. Okay, so first of all, let's connect to the big IP directly. Okay, I mean to an APM without any protection. Okay, so go to APM i5demo.com. On this, on this screen, if I inspect the fields, let's do it. I can retrieve the name of the field, username, and the name of the second field, password. And the logon page is called slash my.police. So the malware is, is set, is configured to grab this page and these two fields okay these two parameters so let's connect to my to my apm without any anti-fraud protection okay so on this windows 7 this one there is a malware installed up and running it's a citadel malware and here malware.f5demo.com is a command and control server this server is managed by the hacker and every malware will send every five minutes every hour on information grabs on on a, on the, the laptop okay so as you can see my windows 7 is connected to this uh, the malware on my windows 7 is connected to this common and control so let's go to uh, to a browser and connect to uh, to apm okay so now i'm connecting to apm without any fraud protection okay so user no fps and my password okay log on i'm connected so at this moment the malware grabbed my credential is done okay and the malware is going to send my credential to the command and control okay so it's very very simple to understand it's very simple to grab okay very very simple so now let's have a look on on the command and control here go to my to my botnet and i request the reporting for today okay so i made several tests today okay so i don't know exactly which one is the latest one but let me check this one perfect user no fps okay so as you can see the hacker right now has information regarding my username my password on which page which page so if you want he can go to my APM and authenticate right now. It doesn't matter if I use HTTP or HTTPS because SSL is after the browser. Okay, inside the browser there is no encryption. Okay, the socket is after the browser. Okay, so now the goal is to encrypt the password. Okay, so to do so on the big IP, I have a FPF module. And I can create a profile for my APM. Okay, so if you remind the, the path for the logon page is slash my.policy. Okay, then I have to specify which protection to put in place. Okay, so I check a lot of protection, but at the moment for this video, the protection to demonstrate is application layer encryption only. Okay, so application layer encryption is there. So I check a lot of options and I have to specify the parameters to protect. Okay, so if you remember, there are two parameters, username and password parameter. Then I request to obfuscate and I specify to encrypt, okay, and substitute the value for the password. So now, if I connect to my big IP with FPFs 
FPS, so web safe protection. So let's move to the dot 20. 20 is a VIP with FPS enabled. And let's have a look on, on the new page. Okay, so APM 5demo.com. So the look and feel is exactly the same, okay? But something happened. Because FPS inject in the page some JavaScript to protect what we want. And we want to protect the username and the password. So if you have a look now, the username field and parameter does not have the same name. Now everything, the name is changing every second. This is obfuscation, okay? This is this column, obfuscate. So the, low, the username and the password are obfuscated. Perfect, okay, so at this moment for the malware, it's very difficult for him to detect when the username field and when the username password are filled, okay? So it's very difficult for him to, to detect and to grab the, the, right, the right values. Second point, I requested to encrypt the password. So now let's connect again to the page, okay? And we are going to check on the command and control if the hacker get the right value or the encrypted value. Okay, so let's continue. User with FPS. Oh, sorry. User with FPS. The password. Connected. So just now, the malware again grab my credential. I cannot avoid that. Okay, so the malware is set, is configured to grab the credential on that page. Okay, so it's done. But now it's purely useless because everything is obfuscated on the parameter name and the values are encrypted. Okay, so let's the malware push information to the command and control. Okay, so Let's go to the reporting and wait. So the, the report is there, perfect. As you can see, I can see my username because I didn't request encryption on this field, perfect. But the name, the name of the, f of the parameters change is obfuscated. And for the password, same option obfuscated and encrypted on the right, okay? So this is the password encrypted by the JavaScript. And the big IP will make the opposite and so decrypt the password before forwarding the traffic on premises to the data center. So now the, the hacker, this is the hacker screen, okay? So the hacker has information, purely useless, okay? does not have the right password. It has a username, but not the password. I could encrypt the username as well, okay? It's not a problem. So this is how F5 can protect user credential on APM logo and page. Very, very useful and very, very easy to demonstrate and to put in place.